anyone watched Blue's Clues back then from Nick Jr. and um, we're gonna get started. We just figured out Blue's Clues. We just figured out Blue's Clues. <laughs> he just said, we just figured out Blue's Clues because we're really smart and that noise. Ah, dun, 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 dun. Ah. <laughs> right, let's get to the let's get to the roster so everybody see who's in the game for this Training. character request. Training. So I know some people had different opinions about uh, opinions about the Nick Jr. characters, but hey, it's an idea. The character potential is there. It's not about well, it's only Nick Jr. They still have, they're still part of Nickelodeon, so the, the character still has a chance to get inside the game, and it'll be really unique. And they don't really have to keep taking characters from these worlds, from the characters that you see. They can include some of these characters that can expand. And Dora was one of them. And now we're going to get into Blue, so she's going to be another yet another character. That we could see in this game for the roster so i'm not sure i'm sure not everybody knows about blues clues or probably just grew up watching it like i have some people out there probably have and uh, i can't wait to see what you guys think about her being in this game and uh, i have quite a few requests for her to be in this so that's why i'm putting it out today and uh well tonight basically to talk about the character and share what I came up with but now let's start before we get into my ideas of how she could play in this game if she was to come out as DLC Blue's Clues DLC and um I'm gonna just say this now I watched the show when it was Steve who was the original partner of Blue when we watch and try to figure out the clues together and stuff like that you watch the show and you figure out the clues i'm going to get into that in a bit i watched when steve was on it the original character or the original host and joe as time went on steve moved on and uh joe got added into the game was well, it added into the game added into the show and then i guess as time went on in a newer host josh is a part of the show now uh part of blues clues and you so I haven't seen too much of that, but um, it's still a great show. One of my favorite Nick Jr. Uh, characters and one of my favorite shows is so many characters and different shows that I watched. One with Bob the Builder and so many others. But now let's start with the character backstory, just about the character. Who is Blue? She's a, a, a girl puppy who communicates with just like the host that I just basically talked about, Steve and Joe, through Barks. And just like when you watch these cartoons they tend to pick up the language on what they want and what they're trying to tell the what they're trying to tell the characters and to, to display a message to get a message across and if they need something or they need help or they're looking for something so every episode of blues clues she initiates a game of blues clues in which there you the viewer and the host are supposed to find and figure out an answer to a question there's always three clues and with all the three clues they sit in the in the end going towards the end of the episode they always end up in a thinking chair to really try to figure out what blue the answer to the question or what blue is trying to say and whatever it is whatever is something every episode is always a brand new adventure there's always some kind of different answer to the question a different question and different adventures that they get into there's different worlds that they get to get to be a part of and they jump into and um it's how i came up with some moves to reference the show to make it make sense but that's just basically what the episode and basically what the shows are about is playing this game of Blue's Clues to try to figure out what she's trying to say and answer a question. And within every three clues, there's always going to it's going to lead into something. And sometimes even sometimes you might even be able to figure it out way before that third clue comes up because you'll be able to guess what she's trying to say or answer right off the bat just based on the first two clues. Sometimes it's a day of giveaway. But um, not everyone will know. So sometimes it would take the three clues to be able to figure it out. And maybe when you think it's something, it ends up being something completely different. But that's what I liked about the show. It's a really fun show to get into. It's interactive. It's fun. And uh, the sing-alongs, the dance-alongs, there's so much more they've done throughout the show. And I definitely recommend watching the show if you haven't seen it. And maybe some people that out there that probably don't know about her or Blue's Clues at all. So that's just a little backstory that I always like doing for these characters. So people get to know these characters and these shows that are brand new to you guys. And 
you can probably figure out if you decide for yourself if you want to check out the show if this is a character that you might want to see and a character you might potentially like even if you don't know about the show maybe some of her abilities will probably make you uh, take a liking to the character but now um now it's time for the stage <laughs> so obviously it would be one stage because everything took place at blue's house sure she was part of these different worlds and they would go you would travel and you would come along with steve or joe or josh throughout the show through these different worlds to be a part of blue's house was the main setting for this particular show in this stage just a little idea they had plenty of other characters it wasn't just blue and steve or wherever whenever you decided to watch it steve and joe well joe and blue or steve and blue and josh or whoever the host is there was different characters and different friends that were friends with blue that were able to talk and they were alive mr salt and mrs pepper shovel pale tickety top or tickety who was the clock slippery soap mailbox mail time y'all remember that <laughs> and others in the background as a little idea they can be background characters in the blues house dlc stage when she comes out bundled with the stage for paid dlc so i thought this would be really ideal for the character blues house let's get her in the game for the dlc and then have the house and you can battle it out inside blues house and um mr salt and mrs pepper and all the other characters can be in the background maybe they can possibly get involved in the fight and start throwing stuff see what i'm saying so and be a little bit it could be a potential hazard hazard stage with those characters getting involved in the mix just like how that one pokemon stage i forgot the name of in super smash bros different legendaries would spawn in and they had different attacks so some of the the friends of blue can help her out maybe by some chance or they'll probably just attack everybody but that's just the stage idea is the best idea the best ideal stage i meant to say for this particular character there's no other stages that can match and fit the character or you guys could or maybe outside of blue's house but inside the house seems like it'll be better and you could be able to see get a glimpse of these characters and you and if you're outside you'll see the mailbox but he could just poke in from the window because he usually does because the windows magically opens but um that's the stage idea and just the whole background of characters that can be included now it's time for the alternate costumes um, i did some research for this and um i thought of a particular skin it made me think of um i always keep bringing this character up this is almost similar to the character of the different alternate alternate costume that can match blue who is her best one of her best friends is blue and her name is magenta or yeah her her name was magenta from the show and she was the same color almost similar to this but magenta is just like pink a different color outside of pink and I thought this would be a perfect alternate costume. And just from the others, they have different colors. Who else has a color? Like, almost like Jenny. And then the Ninja Turtles, Michelangelo and Leo. They have different color variations. But it could be almost similar to how they changed the color of Reptar. Blue can have something like this and be magenta. But magenta is the other dog and her other best friend that she hangs out throughout the show. And it can fit the reference of the show. So that would be an alternate costume. You add one costume just in case. But she also would wear a birthday hat for those surprise parties. Similar to how Cat Dog has one. And then they got the Christmas hats. But Cat Dog, it can look something identical to this, but it's going to have a different design. With the birthday hat with blue wearing it, it, had, it was blue, pink, and yellow with polka dots. And it was part of the dress up, the dress up episode where blue plays dress up with uh, magenta. And then speaking of that same episode, I referenced blue blue the brave knight costume that she wore to rescue magenta and to awaken her when she was in a deep sleep so just some just some little references and uh, they're best friends so they wouldn't even have to put magenta in this game because they're gonna probably fight identical uh, identically and i thought magenta could be a perfect skin for blue also in a costume for paid DLC. It's one of her is one of many of her best friends, but she hangs out with her the most. So this could be just the the skin to reference and be able to switch for the player to purchase that costume if they want to. 
So those are just the costumes, the alternate costumes uh, of ideas that I came up with. She can wear other stuff because she wore different uh, costumes in the dress up episode. But I thought blue in the Brave Knight will be amazing. I definitely will buy it. I will buy the blue in the Brave Knight costume with her knight armor. And I will get the magenta color as well. It, should, it could be an all-in-one package. So she doesn't have just to have. She's not going to just only have one costume. And these characters need more costumes. Not just one costume. They can come out with a shop to be able to add more. The elastic waistband, just saying again. The quickster, misappear. I will, I will buy those. Those are some of the best episodes anyway for Spongebob, just for example. But it would definitely look like this. But now, let's get to the uh, the taunts and animations. Head back over here. Taunts and animations that I came up with. But it, since they, just again, they have voice lines in this game. She can't talk, but she just makes some noise. <laughs> so she can do that. That's going to be a taunt for sure. And she can say that in the arcade as well not just a talk on the battlefield but she's going to say that when you do her arcade whether or not you go against her as an opponent or you play as her through the arcade there you go so <laughs> so i think that could be an iconic talk for her to be in this game it definitely deserves it it deserves to be in the game and i can definitely uh picture it and um during the episode of Periwinkle's Goku Party, yet another character, but that was the cat in Blue's Clues, another one of her friends. Blue's Party Dance that she can do, that she did in the episode. Blue's Party Dance could be another potential taunt from the Periwinkle's, Periwinkle's Welcome Party. Welcome to our neighborhood. That's what they were uh, singing. Welcome to our neighborhood. So from, from that episode, that could be the dance that she does, that could be a nice little reference that the developers could pick up on. In the winning animation, she could spin around in the circle and take a bow, similar to the episode where she woke up, I already talked about this, where she woke up Princess Magenta from a curse. She was in a deep sleep. Magenta was in a deep sleep and nothing could wake her up. And she was in a deep sleep because of the curse of this magic flower from this, um, the dress up episode and this is where she wore the um brave knight costume that's where i got it from but she did a uh a win this could be a winning animation she spun around in celebration when she helped wake her woke her um best friend up from that curse from that deep sleep and she could take a bow after the dance so that could be a nice winning animation in the winner circle time for the moves that so i had fun putting this together and i hope you guys like these moves uh, for this request um Blue is known for those paw prints, for those clues. So I thought her paw prints, that was the first thing I wanted to start with was her paws. And she could be able to attack. They can be light attacks. So she can use her special paw, her special paws for light attacks. And then a chargeable paw print, uh, strong for a special animation. See how when it's a clue, when you watch the episode, if you guys watch the episode, every time it's a clue, it's a paw print. It's one of Blue's paw prints that's marked. And then they'll say, whether Steve, Joe, or whoever it is, or Josh, it's a clue. So the characters, all the characters in this game, or whoever else is gonna be in the game from that time being, for the time being, it's gonna be marked with that special paw. It'll be a nice little animation, a nice touch that the developers can do. So when she hits you successfully with that special paw or chargeable um, paw print attack, you'll be marked. Of course, it's not going to do additional damage, but you're just going to have that mark on you. Because she knows she, she marked you with it and you've been struck by the little special paw. So I thought that would be a nice little uh, animation that they can do for her paws. Not just a, just a regular basic light attacks, but she can have a... A special paw print that can be super powerful to be able to mark you so that'd be awesome um so that's what i came up with so far just to start but now on uh, the blue skidoo if you guys remember blue blue skidoo we can too steve would say that that the skidoo was when they would jump into these different worlds was the hospital a museum or uh, a whole different world uh, underwater or under the sea any world that they would want to be a part of whether it was from a book or a picture they can jump into these worlds in a matter of seconds 
with little to no effort. So I came up with this as a nice reference to the show with the blue skidoo. So that's why I call it this move. It's a strong rush attack to launch herself right into the enemy. See how they, she jumps into these worlds. She can jump right into the enemy right off the bat. And that's going to do a lot of damage. It could be one of her best attacks. So you don't want to let her make contact with this blue skidoo. And if she misses, she's going to be wide open. So she can stumble just a foot a little bit. So that way it, it adds a little bit more a unique sort of animation and effect for the developers. So if she misses the blue skidoo, she's going to stumble and you can be able to attack her or get her, get her off the stage in time before she recovers. So I thought this would be a perfect reference to the show where they jump into these different books and pictures of the worlds during their adventures. Because just like I was saying from the beginning, there's always something new and something new to get into for an adventure it's never the same adventure it's never the same clues it's never the same um, sort of answer to the questions they're always doing something new new people come over to visit with some of her friends and sometimes her friends need help some sometimes her friends will need something uh to figure out to make a decision and uh, a clue to we will have to play blues clues to figure out what we can do to help uh the other characters and some of her friends throughout the show so I just thought this would be one of the best moves for her. I really had fun putting that together. Snack time, where Blue will strike with a not so friendly bite attack. That's why it came up with. Snack time. So of course she's gonna be able to bite you, so she can have a series of combos with the bites. But this would be a strong too. But almost like see how SpongeBob he'll bite you too. Ah. <laughs> And, and somebody else like Lucy Loud, she'll bite you as well. So there's like two characters that can bite you in this game. At least from, from the roster, I think they are. Yeah, they're the only two that can bite you. So Blue can be in the next one for a deadly snack attack or snack time attack or snack attack, something like that. On um, Dog File, this is an area where Blue can land right on top of the enemy with a devastating stomp with a stomp move. So if you if you double jump. You can just be able to just land right on, right on the, the opponent and just slam right down on them. See how see how Patrick does the little diving ice cream cone move from the episode when he's competing with SpongeBob in the games. It could be something like that, but it's going to be in a stomp. In a way, see how Garfield he has one too, but he doesn't dive straight down. So it's a diving stomp attack. So I did dog pile or something like that just to make it a little bit silly. But um, this one, she's going to have her, pre her her own projectile. I came up with this from the show to reference um, to reference the episode. And I think it was that surprise party. I think it was when it was it wasn't it was a periwinkles party. It was Blue's birthday party. And the little song goes, I came up with present time just to reference the show again, because it's the song itself. Present time, present time. It says present time, present time. Open them up and see what's inside. So she'll throw some presents, some explosive presents at you, and you'll see what's inside for yourself for some, some crazy damage. So I thought that'll be really fun to really implement for present time. So she'll be able to throw some little gifts at you, some presents. Then the presents can be wrapped in different, have different, um, the present bosses can be, ha they can have different colors. So just random colors if they want to, whatever they choose to. And they're not going to do more damage maybe she can throw a bigger present maybe they can change up the variation of it so she can throw a big present a giant gift a big gift and stuff like that but i just thought that'd be a regular um explosive or explodable presence to surprise the enemy in, in in style last but not least i came up with a recovery move i had to use her ears because if you watch the show she uses her ears to pick up some things sometimes and when she was opening some of the presents, she used her ears and so much more. So these ears can reach almost anything. So I thought this would be perfect for her recovery for blue uh, floppy ears where she can use her long ears to grab and hang on to the edge of the stage. So when she grapples and grabs the ledge, she can hang on it and then she could pull herself up whenever the player is ready to come up. So. I thought that'll be a nice little unique recovery for her ears. I'm not sure what they can call it. I just said floppy ears, some silly, where she can use her ears to grab and hang on to the ledge and be able to recover. And if they want, it doesn't have to be like that, like a grapple. See how Michelangelo uses his grapple to get on it. 
it could be something similar to that but she's going to be using her ears and she can pull herself up whenever she wants michelangelo automatically uses his grappling or his nunchucks to automatically be on the edge just hanging there but it can have an animation where the the player can pull themselves up and if it's not something like that i also added in some helicopter uh, a helicopter effect where she can use her propeller it can move like a helicopter like a propeller and be able to fly as an additional option for a recovery so i really like that and i definitely think that her recovery has to be with her ears so that way she can be able to grab or uh, grab hold of the the ledge and or the edge of the stage to get right back into the fight but um that's gonna that's gonna be it for our moveset i'm not sure what you guys think I had so much fun with this request. It takes time putting these together, but I have so much fun, you know, putting them together. And I knew about the character, so it helped me even more because I already watched the show and seen many episodes of it just from the the old days on Nick Jr. And it's so different now with Blues Clues and you. They have different hosts, a different host with Josh being in it, but it's still good. It's still a good show, and um, just another Nick Jr. character for the request. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was fun. And I definitely want to um, get more characters in soon. But um, I think Blue's, Clue, Blue's Clues DLC would be fun. Blue would be a, a great character. A nice additional character that people could see. And even if you might not like too much. Even if you don't like the show too much. I think it's, it's a character for everyone out there. And just because you don't know the character. Doesn't mean the character is not going to be great. And someone else that might pick up the character. If they get in. Might make the character look good and might turn you on to the character to want to try them out to be able to give them a chance but there's so many characters that the developers can do i think blue is one of them i already talked about dora blue is just yet another one of many new junior characters that can be in this game and be able to shine 